another uh, musician, uh, songwriter, song, uh, singer, song singer. <laughs> or it would be singer. He's got a song smile out on, uh, on all the platforms. But he's a comedian tonight for the first time in his life. You ready for more? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Team J. Lynch, come on, let him hear. T.J. Lynch, here he is. You know T.J.? Oh, you know T.J.? That explains a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> so handsome. <laughs> if I pass out tonight, I'm not playing. I'm feeling a little dizzy and lightheaded and nervous. But, uh... Hello? <laughs> so recently, I started getting these very bad muscle cramps in my calves. Very, very bad. Very aggressive. I think people call them Charlie horses. They can come at any single moment, any time, and I don't know when. Yesterday I'm at McDonald's, I'm at the drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's, sir. Can I get the order? I'll have a quarter pound of a jet! Cheese! Uh, a small french fry! Uh, and a morphine drip! Probably $375, please drive around. So I recently surrendered to balding. My bald head brothers. Woo! Feels good, right? I sleep like a champion. I was so insecure about my bald spots. Now I'm obsessed with this hot dog roll on the back of my neck. You gotta stay lean. The thing swells up sometimes. I get all agitated. I was gonna, I was gonna let it go like that guy. I like that on the sides. He really said, "Fuck it, I don't care." But before I decided to shave my head, I thought I would give it one more try. Grew it out. Looked like it was coming a little wavy. But it was actually waving goodbye. I really could not believe how big my ears looked though. And then I thought to myself, what if I shave down there? Hey, my arms. You guys, sick. So I've been a trainer for over 20 years. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Did you just take a direct stand? Well, look, very uncomfortable. Up here, lady. Up here. Trainer. Now, anything I say can come off perverted. Can I adjust your form? Do you mind if I give you a nice tip? I have a private facility in the basement of a larger health club. Can I take you downstairs? Can I show you my personalized equipment? The other day, I actually took an attractive older woman down there. So skipping down the stairs, she comes up now. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? You know, my mom. She goes, Can you show me your equipment? I said, These are vintage York weights. This is a leg press. She goes, How dare you? This is your equipment? I'm going upstairs. <laughs> so I was recently with a black woman. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Come 
on. That's like every white man's dream. No? Huh? The married men are all quiet. Fuck you. Yeah. Right, right? Right? She was a beautiful black woman. You know what they say about black women? Once you go black, you never go back. But I actually hurt my back. And I know what you're thinking. It was not from the sex. Her husband came home out of nowhere and hit me with a pipe in my back. I tried to block that shit. Hurt my back, I broke my finger. Look at this shit. Look at this finger. <laughs> Left there off. I thought I was getting robbed or something, but I had no idea. I would never be with a married woman. And I got this to remember I was with a black woman. <laughs> we have any Latinas in the house? Woo! Yeah! Oh, stress. <laughs> I got a little post-traumatic stress disorder. I almost lasted two years for a Latina. With a Latina. Two months I lasted living together. I never knew what to expect when I came home. I would actually get scared to come home at times. I would come home from an adult, I'd go, baby. And I would just ask what we wanted for dinner. She was like narcoleptic too. I couldn't go 15 minutes in a car ride without. Her. I'm like, what the? Fuck? I love the Tina song. My favorite. I can't date Long Island women. I, I've tried. I've tried. I have a horrendous accent. I was with a Long Island woman. It sounded like my mother cheering for me at a lacrosse game. Go, TJ! Go, TJ! Get it! Get it! Shoot it in! <laughs> Another woman. She... She called me daddy? I said, what? How dare you? I am a daddy. Knock that off. I love, I lo I love all types of women. All types of women. <laughs> It's my It's a wonderful crowd here tonight. I can thank Peter and Richie. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful comedians. So I recently went to Disney. So I love women in yoga pants. Love them. Especially like the, the new ones with the slit butt cheeks. But there was a couple European dudes running around in yoga pants. This one guy, he had these bright yellow yoga pants with the bulge. It was hot as hell, the sun was down, it was like magnifying it. <laughs> no, waiting online, trying not to stay, he's like, oh, oh, we're going to wake up, we're going on Tran. Then you had some very, very large women wearing these belly shirts, these yoga pants, some of them look like they were on backwards. God bless them, I, I, I wish I had that type of confidence. But can you believe they had no problem with those guys snuggled in them yoga pants? These women bursting out, not a care in the world. But I go to Frontierland and they don't even let me in with my assless chaps. As I became a father, as I got older, I started getting very, very connected with my feelings. Very, very emotional. I cry at weddings. I cry at gender reveals. 
<laughs> kids movies. I cried the other day when I did shave down there and it didn't look any bigger. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you so much. My name is TJ Lynch. This has been great. Download my song, Smile. My goal is to bring the smile back in style this year. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. TJ Lynch, come on. Give me a hand, TJ Lynch. TJ asked me to tell you he is available to perform at children's parties. 